How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, some of you asked me to do a reaction a video to The Verge's How We Built a $2,000 Custom Gaming PC video because apparently it's really bad. Now, I haven't watched the video yet. I did see that Bitwit did a reaction video. And then also, I think I saw Linus post a video on uh, a photo on Twitter about it. So we're gonna see how it is. Maybe it's going to be like super bad. I'm not too sure yet. I think there will be like small mistakes here and there. But yeah, maybe if everybody's doing a reaction because of this, it has to be really bad. So yeah, let's get into the video. So a few years ago, TC or managing editor built a gaming desktop, but it's kind of out of date, and it's definitely not gonna hold up for Battlefield Five. So Sponsored let's build all of the parts. How nice! You let's can build, build a, a gaming custom. desktop yeah. for around a thousand dollars, but I want to go all out, so I spent around two thousand. PC like this really is gonna be able out, to play but, most uh, games at yeah. ultra settings. So what do you need to build the desktop? Okay, cool. Well, of course, Rock Strix and the, the table. C through seven. Preferably not metal. If it's gonna be metal, That's have good. an anti-static working surface layered on top of you it. Just don't have a metal table. An Allen uh, wrench, some tweezers to tie up the wires, a Swiss Army you're knife. You definitely more, has need more than that. Screwdriver in it. Definitely. And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you. Isn't that just a like a rubber band? That honestly just looks like a rubber band. Yeah, I mean this is a anti-static wrist wrap. That's just like a a, a band. You and the parts. These are the parts and you're gonna need. You. But more importantly, before we get there, we need to understand what these parts are doing this. and how they interact with one another. <laughs> to better understand the parts that make up the desktop, it's let's try to understand the damage here. <laughs> the processor is like the computer's brain. A base of okay. We have a lot of boxes I know a lot and a lot of PC parts, so it's best you unbox them, isolate the parts that you really Tear need. Tear that box open. What? To the case and... I don't know if anybody sees what's wrong there, but Make okay, the we'll, we'll get into that start working. And now later. we're really going to start building by adding the motherboard in. Some okay. notes about installing motherboard. It's one of those cool really new Corsair really cases. Be careful with them. Exactly and screw in with confidence, ones, but well, also don't screw it, in but... too hard, otherwise you could crack the board. I chose Jeez, you have to really turn it for two main reasons. Hard to one, crack it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and also it has support for NVMe SSDs, meaning you can it's get nice really board. fast SSDs that are really easy to install. Well, a lot of motherboards these days do have. The brace at the back of the computer you always have the, to make sure brace. that you really hammer it in because there's no the screw brace. it okay. really just has to go outside of the case that's a new word for it i'm frame. gonna use that from now on and this Guess is very important because otherwise you can't align the motherboard correctly with the holes we're just gonna start installing all eight screws okay <laughs> oh RAM. So next we're going to install the RAM That's... on the motherboard. Yes, I yes, yes. I chose Corsair slots first and just aligning okay. the stick with Pretty the fast. middle of the strip, not with the end, and just lining that up with the logo. Uh... So once you hear that solid clasp and you don't see the gold connected <laughs> on the side anymore, uh... that's when you have the RAM is in. Oh Step damn! Three, yeah, yeah. there's already the oh, hard drive. there's already yeah yeah no, that's wrong, dude. Just look at the manual. Look at the manual. <laughs> the manual will tell you how to install the memory it's not that hard just you second slot then the fourth slot it's not that hard no or in this case the nvme ssd i chose this format of solid state drive so that i could input it into the motherboard without having to worry about extra yeah, wires nice. or putting it in a separate part of the case i'm not too sorry really nice this is from kingston and it's 480 gigabytes so it's not a lot but you can always yeah, it's, upgrade it's this enough. and swap it out and it's only held down by one enough. screw and the latch so it's really simple and really straightforward speed for gaming is important when it comes to a hard I like drive. A screwdriver, you want files man. to write quickly and you want games to load quickly so that's why it's best if you use an SSD. Well, NVMe isn't really okay, necessary so step four, for we're going to install gaming, the graphics seriously. card. I chose PNY's GTX 1080 which is overclocked okay. and so it's I've already used a uh, PNY before gold connectors but and it's based on the same architecture and everything, so the same bracket, NVIDIA chips. PC case. Now, uh, which lane you choose depends entirely on what other parts you're going to put in the system. I'm just going to pick the top one. And then also the, the speed of the lane. The bottom, you don't want to put that thing in on a one time full slot. Click down. That's, that's not going to work. Power supply time. I chose Corsair's 850 watt power supply because I it's need a good power supply. for ray tracing to come out, and I don't want to have to upgrade but. it again. Now let's so see all you have to do is take the brick, 
and the brick. make sure that you align it with these little insulating pads so that the power supply doesn't short circuit and come into contact with the rest of the system. So just it's, take it in. It's not really that big of Slide it in nice and easy until you have a snug fit. She just pulls that. Okay, so power supplies, they have fans. So where's the hell is the fan? It's, it's showing like inwards into these, into the back of the motherboard. How the hell is the thing going to get air? Is it gonna choke itself out? Uh, 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 we'll see. If I remember right, the case does have a vent here at the back, so. Yeah, dude, no. And then no. shift it to the back and make it's sure it's knowledge. Right up it's common knowledge. It's common knowledge. Now you just take the required screws and you tighten and screw in. Oh, this is so bad. So next step, we're going to install the CPU core. In this case, it's going to go on the top end of the case, and we're just going to have. Just don't put it like on the top entirely. That until we install the process. Hopefully, it doesn't do come that. A little later. Always be sure to try to place it in the Back system first life. before you install it. You can <laughs> that would have been funny. The next few additions One. Just will do be everything. the CPU for any specific ports that the case has, for any lighting that the case has, the CPU cooler, the, anything else really. We're installing the CPU. What CPU is that? You can't really see. It's uh, it's probably a classified one. So, uh, three point uh, yeah, it's probably eighty seven hundred K. The heart of the computer or the brain, depending on how you look at it. Okay. So to do this, we're just going to remove the plastic oh, covering. Oh, he's going to do something wrong here. Motherboard. I'm just going to take this little plastic See, there, there's out. the manual. There's the manual. How did you install it wrong? How do you install the RAM wrong? It's literally right in front of you. Oh, no. I'll just toss that out of here. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that as well. And now we have an exposed CPU holder, or rather slot, on the motherboard. Socket. And we're going to use the CPU applicator. This is a special little part okay, that's that cool. not everyone may get, but... What? No. No. This motherboard that we got from ASU. Oh okay, no, here. what are you this doing, dude? This is a special dude? part that not... He's put... Oh, he's putting pressure up inside. No. <laughs> oh, dude, you're damaging that CPU so bad. Why? Why are you... Why do you need to do that? Why? Why do you need to do that? <laughs> everyone may get, but this motherboard oh, that we got from no. ASUS definitely does have okay, I can CPU installation tool. I can understand the CPU really installation tool. If you want I haven't to used one or seen one before. A Core i7 Hexacore CPU. Yeah, we've got There's one and it's in just that one. Chip, and it's ready to go and it supports overclocking. So what okay. having this little big, installer big does for you is it's basically a brace that you can apply right to the CPU and light it up with the triangle. So you just dropped it in. You don't have to push it in like that. And this no. will make it easier for us to apply it to the motherboard and then apply thermal paste and then apply a CPU cooler on top. And we're just going to okay. carefully lean it down into oh, the yeah. system. And he like and pushes sure down on it. Up, and we're going to clasp I mean, it down on it. CPU installation, I know like a lot of people, they're scared, but it's it's really simple. I mean, you just look at the, at the, the, the triangle and that's pretty much it. Then you just align that and done. I mean, it's, you don't really need an installation tool. And then push so we're about it down. to apply oh, thermal oh. paste to the CPU. Every CPU cooler actually comes with a bit of thermal paste already yeah. neatly applied in a circle around it. And it's it. enough. But it's usually not enough. It's it is really enough, usually. PC building. You can remove it and add more. Extra and layer it on top. Oh. <laughs> Wait, and he said... Essentially PC building practice to have a little bit extra little bit extra so he's adding on top of the cpu all of that and then still using the thermal paste on his cooler whoa dude that's gonna like spill like crazy <laughs> you're gonna be able to swim through that jeez no dude that i mean that's all that's all you need honestly you don't have to go for anything more you don't even have to add, you can just, yeah, it's it's nice to, you can add, like, dedicated thermal paste, but the thermal paste on the cooler is, is relatively good enough, uh, and otherwise just wipe it off. I usually wipe it off and add new ones, because I usually have a bit of higher end thermal paste, but by doing all of that, no, dude, you're gonna swim through that. The, the final and that's more, it goes all the way, that's, 
that will be enough for a Threadripper CPU. And have you seen a Threadripper CPU? I mean, it's it's three times that thing's size. Chin is oh, to geez. add the CPU oh. cooler to the top end. Oh, of can you do the install a CPU cooler? So you're gonna see that there are four. He added more. He added more. No, <laughs> I thought that was bad enough. He added more th thermal paste. No, dude. This is a how-to guide and you're doing that. Oh, jeez, no. Four brackets, or rather like screws in here with oh, brackets. Geez, that right mace. Here. And they're going That's to keep the such color rays mace. off the processor, but it's also going to be close enough to actually physically come in contact with it. Like, basically keep it cool. Take thumb screws like this and just screw them on. So now that Okay, they didn't really done, show that, so we hope he did that right and... Oh, put all the panels oh. back on, which is the top glass, side glass, front glass, and of course the back okay. panel where all this fun. Okay, see, 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 it does have a rear vent or a side vent for the power supply, and you put it the wrong way around, the thing is going to burn out. This stuff is happening. So we fully built the PC. Beautiful cable management. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just look at that cable. Look at all of those cables. Look at all of that. Honestly, you couldn't have done just a tiny bit better job. A tiny bit. And, oh, no. I, like, I saw this case at Computex, and it was beautiful, but it had RGB. This doesn't have anything. And it has only one fan at the Everything front. Everything's put together. And if I have a problem down the line, I can always just swap out a part and have it serviced rather than losing my... You're going to need to, dude. You're going to need dead power supply. Probably, okay. Probably dead motherboard with all of that seep the thermal paste. The motherboard is going to swim in thermal paste. I want him to take it, take it to like a repair center and they remove that CPU cooler. And it's just like a tidal wave of freaking thermal paste coming off there. Whole computer. And of course Damn. now we also have a computer to test and benchmark games here at The Verge. Don't. Don't. Memory wrong. CPU cooler, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna cool really well, and then power supply is gonna die soon. So, I yeah, I wouldn't recommend that you use it as a test bench. It's not gonna really. <laughs> Zero, you can't see. The comments disabled. Then you know it's a really bad video, really bad. It's from the Verge's well, so. Why didn't they just remove the video? Honestly. Wow. Oh, no, this is bad. Like, I knew it would have, like, it would be bad. Like, uh, some cringe here and there. RAM, probably. Uh, CPU, I thought there will be something there. But, like, that amount of thermal paste. CPU again. Power supply again. There's no RGB. Dude, I'll, I would sponsor you RGB, freaking. Just to add a bit more to that system, it looks so dead. And cable management, no. This is not a how to build video. Seriously, let's just quickly Google how to build. How to build a gaming a PC. Tech source, there's Austin Evans. Another tech source, Bitwits, Paul's Hardware. There's so many how to build videos, you couldn't just watch one of them, like a few minutes of one of those videos, or just follow the manual. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. No. <laughs> and now the, the thing is, some people, like a newbie, is going to watch that video, and it's from the verge, so they're re reliable, and they're gonna, like, use the entire, like, thermal paste. Freaking. Mm, no. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys want me to react to anything else, like, tech-related that I can post here on WeDo Tech, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, like always. And then I will check all of you in the next video. Cheers, guys.